Baby, I just don't get it. Do you enjoy being hurt? I know you smell the perfume, the makeup on his shirt. You don't believe his stories. You know that they're all lies. Bad as you are, you stick around, and I just don't know why. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? It's Mario here. Right now, you are watching Billboard News. Girl, don't get used to your bed. I'm Nina Rohani with Billboard News, and we are here with R&B legend and legacy artist, Mario. You signed your first deal with J Recordings, Clive Davis. Yeah. To be catapulted into that so young, tell me about that. It happened pretty fast. I got adopted when I was 13. I moved from Baltimore to Jersey, and that span of two years going into my first signing happened really quick. It kind of prepared me for this industry and the fast pace of it. Was this know? post Let Me Love You? Definitely. Let Me Love You came out when I was like 19. You should let me love you. Let me be the one to give you everything you want and need. That was like... <laughs> <laughs> that was my jam. Thank you. That was everybody's jam. It was the it's, eighth most successful single of the decade according yeah. to Billboard. It was an amazing experience making that album, being a young man now, like in the world, traveling, seeing different types of women, seeing different types of cultures and being on tour. So I was talking to Beyonce at Steve Stout's party and I was telling them like, thank you for putting me on my first major tour. I went on tour with Destiny's Child when I was like 19, 20. What was it like going on tour with Destiny's Child? Oh man, it was amazing. It was my first world traveling tour. So with Used To Me, how did you get together with Ty? Like, how did the song come to be? Me and Ty had known each other for years. I always thought he was incredible. I knew he was gonna be great at what he did, whatever he put his mind to. We just were waiting for the right time. Timing is everything. I got in the studio with d Mile and I told d Mile, I love you. Yeah, I'm like, I wanna live in a space where we can create something that feels classic, but it's a lifestyle song, but it's still something that can live forever. I played a couple of vibes from a couple of examples and we just created the track on the spot. Once I had my verse down and like kind of a melody for the second verse, I sent it to Ty. He sent me like 27 fire emojis. Used to me is a song that's it's talking about coexisting with your partner where y'all trying to find out what's still like we are going in a relationship, right? But the common culprit and that is intimacy. That's a space where oftentimes we can relate on that. Mm -hmm. That's guaranteed. Like we know we got that. So tonight that's what we're gonna do we figure the rest out tomorrow. It's that duality between love, love, loss, lust, what is this, but we know we have this connection. This is definitely like the grown Mario. Definitely, yeah, of course. You just serenaded our own Cheer Brown. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. That was the best birthday. <laughs> When it comes to your writing now and your sort of creative process, yeah. where do you feel like you're at? I feel like I'm exper experimenting, but I'm also very, I try to write in real time. It's like the moment I feel a overwhelming emotion is probably when I write the best music. So I have catalogs of songs that are just moments of, a capsule of emotion. I invite uncomfortable moments in my life because it gives me the energy and the force, the magnetism to create with. Kendrick's album, I think that was like a great display of vulnerability. And Super vulnerable. It showed both the dark and light sides of love. I relate to Kendrick in general as an artist. I like his artistic process, how he delivers the music. But I feel like I related to the whole album because growing up I saw a lot of toxic you know, relationships between men and women. I definitely understand the duality of light and dark when it comes to love. I'll be damned if I'm stuck with shit. Change my number, I'm ducky, you bitch. bitch. whatever is comfortable. That's the type of shit couples do, should have thought about cuffing. Who are some new R&B artists that you would love to work with? SZA, Lucky Day, Sabrina Claudio, which we have a little surprise about to spring on y'all soon. I just wanna be the one. 
So at this point, your song is out now. Yes, yes. Used to me is out right now, everywhere, every platform. Thank you so much, Mario. This was so much fun, My and pleasure. I'm so excited thank for you. all the new music. Thank, thank you, you thank for you, everything. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Thank you.